Beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. All right, quick message. These are general readings. They will not resonate with everyone. Please take what fits and leave the rest. Make sure you check the other signs in your chart to see if they resonate with you. If you like my vibe and how I get down with my readings, please hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the like button for your girl, okay? It helps get my readings out there and uh, also promotes my channel. And, uh, yeah, it kind of helps us to style. So I appreciate you guys, okay, for doing that for me. Also, like I said, these are general readings. So make sure that you check out other readers out there. There's some amazing readers out there, okay? Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Feel free to hit your girl up. You know, we'll set up something, okay? All right, so, yeah, uh, on to your reading. Hey, Gemini. I hope you guys are doing well this morning. All right, so this is going to be a general reading just to see what's coming up for you guys in June. This will not resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest, okay? All right, let's see. What's coming up for... Gemini in June. All right, your first card out is conflict and defeat. You have balance. You have the waiting game. All right, so what's going on here, Gemini? You have accelerated motion and wish. I'm sorry, fulfillment of wishes. All right, and then you have shadow. All right, so Gemini, this looks like this is going to be a pretty interesting reading, sweetheart. All right, so it looks like uh, you're manifesting some things, trying to bring some things together. There's a situation that you, um, there may have been a lot of conflict in, and um, you don't see a way to um, to end the conflict. You feel kind of defeated about the situation. You may have gotten some clarity about this situation as well. Um, the divine is actually shedding light on you, and you're actually walking closer to this candle. The closer that you get, I'm believing that you're getting information, downloads, finding out things. Um, yeah, and I think uh, ooh, this situation is a little bit taxing on your soul, on your spirit. You feel a little bit heavy, okay? But the thing is, is that something was supposed to happen here. This was supposed to happen for a reason. Uh, right now, you're waiting on something. It, it seems like there's um, some type of investment that you've made, and it's growing slowly but surely. It's taking a lot of time, so you're just waiting, doing what you have to do until this comes to fruition, okay? So you're just biding your time, waiting for this thing to, you know, basically pop out of here. So it's time for you to reap the harvest, okay? There are some things, like I said, that you're working on. You're waiting for it to come to fruition. And this is actually going to work out perfectly for you. Once it starts taking off, it's about to take off. Okay, so hold on to your hat. Because, yeah, you, you're about to go places, okay, literally. All right, there may be some obstacles and challenges here just getting to this. But once you start taking off, you're you're going to be above all this crap that's going on here. Okay, so no worries. Um, also, uh, some of you may need to do some shadow work here. All right, so um, I don't know what's going on, but there may be some issues here that... Uh, you need to balance yourself out, which is really funny. You have this shadow here, and it's two different people, so it might be Gemini card here, okay? So, yeah, you need to kind of get to yourself, hermit mode, and do some shadow work here. I don't know about what yet at this time, but I think Divine is telling you that, uh, yeah, you need to go ahead and start working on some inner issues or whatever and get more into alignment with yourself okay so take that time to yourself also there's going to be some material and um, spiritual prosperity here maybe this is spiritual growth that you're doing here not only getting more aligned with yourself but getting more aligned and in tune with spirit here okay you have a lot of movement choices and decisions to make and you will be standing in your own power all right Mm. making choices and decisions, standing on your own, taking authority over this situation and your life, setting boundaries. 
positive movement forward. Oh my goodness. And passion ignited. Having hope. Oh my goodness. What? Gemini, you better go ahead with your bad self. I'm just saying, you have some beautiful blessings for you coming through. The thing is, is right now you have some um, some issues that you're working through or some issues that may come up that you feel kind of overwhelmed that you might not be able to get through at this point in time. But the thing is, is that um, this is actually meant to be. You're supposed to be here. Whatever this conflict and defeat, defeat is, you need to do shadow work by it. Or well, not by it, but um, you need to do some shadow work. Something is calling you to put some illumination on something that you're doing. Maybe your behavior, some past actions, or maybe um, maybe you allow someone in your life that, you know, there's no headway getting with this person. It's just always conflict and defeat. Uh, maybe there's a lot of arguments, conflict here or something like that. But the divine is telling you, I want you to get by yourself. Think about some things. Why are you allowing this in your life? How did this happen? Okay. Or if this is you mistreating someone else, the universe is like, you know what? Check this out. I want you to check your behavior. What's up with this? Okay. Whoever this is, is really trying to balance their life out. Move away from this conflict and defeat is just taking time. It's taking the waiting game. You're going to be happy, though, and you're actually going to take off. I like it. Let's see. So it looks like you're growing here, too. Same thing happened for Libra. Maybe it's just an air sign thing right now, okay? All right, so you have pathway. Like I said, you're moving forward. There's actually going to be blessings along the way, so you'll have people helping you, guiding you, you know. So you're moving towards the right direction. This is really good. Let's see. You have messages of concern. All right, expectations. So you are in expectation of something, possibly moving forward. Um, this thing that you've been working on here, you're waiting for that to come in, uh, come to fruition. So some of you are waiting for messages regarding this situation, okay? So you're just waiting, doing what you can do, doing what you need to do until this actually um, pops off for you, okay? You do have the poverty card here, so there may be something going on with your money unexpectedly. Pay attention to your pinnacles. Some of you guys may be... Um, trying to stack up your pinnacles so you may be doing jobs that you're really not um, interested in doing but you know you're chilling making it happen anyway because you're trying to stack up your pinnacles we have a mature man here you could be working with somebody that's older somebody that's uh, giving you some type of wisdom and clarity in your life or this conflict defeat and situation that you've gone through and with this shadow work here and this also balancing which is basically the magician you have everything that you need um you possibly doing a lot of spiritual work within yourself which is causing you to actually gain wisdom okay so this may be you as this mature man there's no gender in tarot so you could be a female or whatever you know just take it how it resonates okay this is a uh, masculine energy here and then you have messages of concern. So there may be some type of communication coming through that may kind of catch you off guard. The thing is, is that things are going to work out. You know, do what you can about it and don't worry about it. Things are going to move forward for you, okay? So, um, yeah, this looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's see. What else for Gemini? You manifesting new things into your life, I tell you that. Oh, why so many cards? Okay, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. So this conflict and defeat, you need to go ahead and get rid of that. You learn some lessons behind this situation, probably karmic lessons with this mature man and shadow work and also solitude so yeah you know you're doing what you're supposed to do there you've learned some lessons time to release negativity move forward okay then you have surrender to the divine full moon so like i said do what you can and whatever else you can't do pray about it meditate about it to give it to the divine and leave it alone it's out of your hands okay divine timing is at play don't let your pride get in the way yeah some of you like i said full moon and leo you need to actually um, do some shadow work here, okay? 
some some people may be working in pride and ego and things like that. So you need to kind of balance this out with your emotions and things like that and look at things from a, a real standpoint. This could also be your cross watcher here as well, okay? Somebody may be deep in ego here and need to do some shadow work, come back down to earth. Not, I'm not trying to be funny or make light of it, but it's, it's just a thing that um, there's some humility that needs to happen here, okay? So um, don't let pride get in your way when it comes to certain situations, having conversations about this conflict and defeat, you know, just be open and honest. And the thing is, is that if the person on the other end doesn't accept, you know, what you have to say, you know, well, that's on them. You cleared your heart, okay, and your energy. All right, so let's see. So speak up. Clear that throat chakra. All right. Be com your commitment is being tested. So the divine is looking at you and saying, okay, well, you told me you want this, but are you going to do the work for it? If you do the work for it, I'll help you, okay? So, yeah, you're doing what you need to do. And plan the waiting game, and eventually it's going to pay off for you. So keep doing what you're doing. All right, so it's going to work out for you. Prosperity lies ahead, like I said. You got it going on. New moon in Taurus. So, and the divine is working with you, you know. So, keep doing what you're doing. You know, you might feel like your pinnacles are not enough right now. You may be doing jobs that you don't particularly like. But keep it up. It's actually going to propel, propel wow, you forward, okay? Believe in the impossible. No matter what it looks like right now, to know that the divine is working with you. You have everything that you need to balance the situation out. And uh, yeah, you're manifesting things, okay? All right, so that was those messages there. All right, so let's get into the tarot and find out what else is coming for Gemini. Holy Spirit, ancestors, and angel goddess. What messages do we have for Gemini in June? Messages for Gemini. Ace of Wands, brand new passionate beginning, going towards things that uh, you love. Oh, some of you guys might actually have a new partner, somebody that you're interested in. You, oh, shit, you got the lovers here. What did I say? Mm, okay, so we got the lovers. Mm. Passion in the beginning. Eight of coins. Somebody, damn, okay. Somebody wants to work towards this uh, beginning with this lovers here. Let's see. Eight of coins. What else do we have here? Oh, four of wands. Two of Wands, King of Wands, on the bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups. Okay, so, Gemini, what you got going on here? All right, sweetheart, so it looks like y'all got, you interested in somebody like really, really interested, okay? You want a passionate brand new beginning with someone, you kind of working towards this relationship, trying to make it happen. Okay, there may be some indecision here. Do I go new or old? Do I go back to the past or do I just keep it pushing? What is it? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not even the past. Do I go towards something that, that is really passionate and hot? Or do I go towards something that's, you know, more mentally uh, stable? Something that I'm more in tune with, more aligned with. I don't know. Either way, there's clouds on both sides. It's just that one is more, one is hot. One may be kind of, I hate to say it, but one might be a little bit toxic here. Hmm. Choose wisely. Yeah. Choose wisely. Um, what I'm getting is that you may have an option between two different people here. Um, one person is more, how can I say, you're more sexually attracted to this person. However, I think there's some type of turbulence. There's, there's some type of 
drama with this person. This one that this passion. The one that you have passion for is sexual chemistry for. There's issues with this person. I don't know. This other person is cool, but you're not passionate about this person. This person doesn't turn you on. They may be more, I don't know. I don't know. And also, this could be you trying to decide, do I go towards this person that I have passion for? But there's all this conflict, drama. You got volcanoes in the background. So there's explosive sexual chemistry here. However, I'm thinking there's something here with this person is a bit turbulent, possibly toxic. I don't know. But you got a decision to make. Who are you going to choose? This is somebody that's... I hate to say it, but... This is a sexual relationship. Somebody feels that, you know, they have their nine of cups already. They're just waiting for this person to come in. To offer this page of cups. This cup of love. Yeah. There is a cycle here that's actually closing out, too. Somebody is actually moving forward. Yep. Yep. Moving forward, leaving conflict, drama, fighting behind this conflict and defeat. They're leaving this behind. Look, leaving it. Moving towards things that make them happy, victorious. Yes, moving towards passionate, brand new beginnings. Hmm, this person right here. Mm-hmm. Somebody's trying to balance their life out, going towards their wish fulfillment. What makes them happy? Yeah, somebody who's defeated tired of this drama that's going on here there's some drama here drama conflict yep drama 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 mm -hmm. yep there's drama here about this situation so somebody's moving forward <laughs> no longer in their feelings no longer hurt behind whatever happened here. This person has been doing shadow work, communing more with source, figuring out what they want to do, balancing out their life, manifesting new love in this situation. They want the four of wands, happiness here. Look at this. Look, 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 look. look. Brand new passion in the beginning with this lovers. They want this four of wands with this new person. If this is a new person, somebody's rushing in giving clear communication telling you what they want they want this offer they want to make an offer they want to move forward with you however damn you may have decided to do this on your own i'm better off on my own outside of this situation i want something new somebody may feel stuck here not knowing what to do i don't know let's see you walking away from something. All right, so yeah, this is long. All right, so clarify the ace of wands. The empress. <laughs> somebody is very passionate about somebody they see the, as the empress. They want to grow with this person. Somebody is very passionate about this person. They feel that this person is everything that they want. They're a manifester. They're the embodiment of all four queens. They have it going on. This person is stable, emotionally stable, mentally stable. Able to manifest things, birth new ideas and things like that. Yeah, so this person is very passionate about this person here. All right, so uh, yeah, Gemini, you may feel that there's somebody out there that you got your eye on. All right, oh my. Hmm. Okay, on the lovers, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Why? Oh, that's why. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Now, this just flipped the script. Okay, so this is somebody that you see as the empress. However, 
Somebody just wants sex here. That changed real quick. Yeah, on the lovers, you have clarified by the Ten of Cups in reverse. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. Remember I said earlier that this person possibly comes with a lot of drama or there's something with this person even though they are the empress this person is probably beautiful stable got their own money or whatever it is but there's some type of there's something going on here with this person with this big ass volcano and this fiery valley there's something here i need to look up the spiritual uh meaning of an iguana too Hmm. Yeah, there's something going on with this person. This person is beautiful, sexy, got it going on. But you don't want a relationship with this person. You just want them as the lovers. Okay, so what the hell is this? The four of wands is clarified by the ace of wands in reverse. This is somebody that you just want sex with. Yeah, this is somebody you just want sex with. Let's see. Why is the seven of coins here? Three of cups. There's possibly more than one person here. Oh, my God. <laughs> you have two of wands here. Clarified by the devil. Mm, somebody. Oh, my God. Somebody is being wrong. Yeah, you got... King of Wands, clarified by the strength. Let's see. Hold on. Nine of Cups, please. Chimai, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Hangman, Death, and the fucking Ace of Cups. Okay, so look. Hmm. So, it looks like you're putting an end to one situation, keeping your options open for another. However, there's someone here that you're interested in sexually. Gemini, what you got going on here, honey? Yeah, because this is not the person that you're, you want. You may end up juggling people. You need to do some shadow work. I'm just saying. What is this? Somebody wants to come in and bring you a pinnacle. And sex. Okay, so you got three different people here. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. Somebody that was left out in the cold is coming back. You got three different people here. Past, present, and future. Yeah, you got past, present, and future here. You have the Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups all back to back. And then you have the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Six of Wands and the Two of Cups. Okay, so look. And then there's the moon here. So there's some secrets being um, held here. All right, so look. You have more than one person that is interested in you. Um, not being funny. Somebody is holding on to you. Yeah, somebody wants to give you a brand new beginning, a fresh start, and a new relationship. Wow, you may find yourself juggling or indecisive about who to choose. Somebody wants to come in and bring you a stable offer. This person might be a little bit shy. You know, however, they're very abundant. This person is, is like financially stable, okay? And they're grounded. This could be um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You also have Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So, damn. Yeah, you have three different people 
that are interested in you. And so who do you choose? Somebody's getting ready to get left out in the cold. Someone is holding on to this situation too. They're, they're holding on for dear life. They want this lovers, this, this, yeah. They want a victorious outcome. The thing is, yeah, they want the two of cups. Oh my God, yeah. Wow, you, there are some karmic situations going on here. Um, Gemini too, like literally, literally, there's some obsession here, some sexual obsession. You don't know who to choose. Like I said, this person here on this side, this is all sex, all sex. That's why this is coming in reverse. You don't want a relationship with this person. You just want to fuck. I'm sorry, but that's just what is coming up. You, this person makes you happy, though. Or it could lead to a long-term relationship. However, this is not what you want. You just want sex. There's a lot of people here. You working, you would think this is collaboration coming together, but no. With all these people that I just saw here, yeah, you working on each one. What the hell are you doing? I don't even want to do this reading anymore. I'm just saying, there's some secrets here that are not being told. Yeah, somebody's getting let go. Damn. Yeah, somebody's getting let go. Or, yeah, somebody is actually getting let go. And you're going towards another whole other relationship. And you're not telling anybody. You're keeping this to yourself. But you're going towards a passionate brand new beginning with somebody else in these four ones. Oh, my God, Gemini. This is like a confusing ass read. What else? What else do I need to know? It's almost so confusing that I'm not sure if I'm on point. This soul bond is sacred. Okay, so this actually landed on the two of wands and this devil here. So somebody you 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 really feeling. All truth will be revealed. Like I said, somebody is holding on to some secrets here. The truth will set you free. Somebody needs to speak up. And say what's going on. They're holding on to this information. Some, whoever is being left behind here. That five of pentacles. They need to be told. Wow. Okay. Deliver me from temptation. So somebody is really obsessed. Like I said. About someone else sexually. This is not about love. That's purely sex. Hidden desires and hidden intentions. Oh my God. It doesn't get any better than that. Hidden desires and hidden intentions. What? What? There it is. There it is. The card said it. There's some sexual obsession there. It's being hidden. Okay? Somebody is not... Oh, my goodness. Woo! Gemini. What you got going on here, sweetie? You, you got, this is not even making any sense to me. This reading is all over the place. I don't know who the hell this is going to resonate. Please don't eat my card. Thank you, sir. Oh, my God. Ooh, this is going to be a tower moment. Oh, my God. Gemini. I almost don't want to post this because it's, it's not... It makes sense to me, but it's not making sense to me. It's like all over the place. It's like that balloon doll in front of the store is just flopping this way and flopping that way. So I hope this resonates with somebody, but because, wow. Then you have karmic relationship. Wow. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. This conflict and defeat, somebody's walking away from this. Yeah, this is a karmic relationship here. Somebody is doing some shadow work, found out how, trying to figure out how in the hell they got into this situation. Okay? So they're trying to balance their life out and go towards something new. However, there is someone that they are sexually obsessed with. And they're keeping it a secret. They don't want a relationship with this person. They just want to fuck. I'm sorry. Excuse my expression. I'm just saying, but that's exactly how it's coming up. Not that I want to chill with you. I want to be with you. You know, I want to flip it up, smack it, rub it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not that. 
this person, yeah, I, I want that, 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 yeah, you know, that thing. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. Hand of cards, taking a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. Didn't I tell you that this person is keeping secrets, not telling their, you know, they're not really telling anybody that they're really digging this person right here. I'm, I, I swear, you know, um, this person is being very strategic. Gemini, this could be you. This could be your person. However, um, yeah, somebody's willing to take a chance on this situation, okay? Because they got to have that thing. All right, Cupid's Arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. Okay, so you may be meeting up with this person. You actually, like I said, have a few people coming towards you. So you may actually meet someone outside of this temptation, outside of this past person that really, you know, um, speaks to your heart and your soul. Okay, so keep it open. When you actually meet this person, you might be a bit hesitant, you know, kind of thinking like, you know what, could this, could I really vibe like this with somebody like that? Yeah, you can. And you need to do a lot of shadow work to kind of, you know, balance this out and get rid of this obsession for this person, whoever this is, because they got some stuff going on with them. All right. And then you have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. All right, so yeah, um, kind of love on yourself a bit more, you know, get in alignment. And like I said, do shadow work to find out what's attracting you to these type of people and what's keeping you so obsessed. Because literally, this is some type of sexual obsession here. I, I'm just, I'm just saying, it's, it's in the cards, yeah. And then it says, uh, what else? Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So there is about to be a tower here. What's getting ready to happen? I don't know, but somebody's getting left out in the cold. Well, yeah, that's what I know. Somebody's moving on here and somebody's getting left out in the cold. They're, they may feel abandoned or something like this, but this was a karmic relationship where there was supposed to be lessons learned. And I think somebody actually learned their lessons and they actually grew and matured from this. Detached, stillness, letting go, toxic detachment. What did I tell you? This is toxic as hell, okay? You need to run, Forrest, run from this, okay? This is no bueno. Positivity, thoughts, creation, optimism, believe, okay? So you got some good things going on. You manifest some things. Keep doing that and get this out of your energy because this is trying to pull you back, okay? You're trying to move forward, but see, what you have to realize is that the adversary, if you have life purpose, which we all do, the adversary will send in something to slow you down so that you are uh, you won't complete your mission. If you let it, you'll end up repeating this cycle again and again and again, and you'll find yourself stuck. So you need to do the shadow work. You know, maybe the hell with all these relationships and these people. Focus more on yourself and figure out your issues. You understand what I'm saying? Because if you don't, no matter who you meet, what situation you get yourself in, it's always going to lead to this. Okay. So, yeah, you need to find out what's going on here. All right. And then you have change. Flexibility, courage, evolution, and growth. So, yeah, it's time to start looking at things in a different light. Uh, use them as learning tools and move forward from this situation because, uh, yeah, this is a mess. All right, and then you have truth, intuition, answers, trust, and listen. You already know what to do. Your intuition has already told you what to do. You know that you need to let go of multiple things and move forward with your life. So, this is just confirming what you already know, okay? All right, so what else? This is whew, what I thought was going to end up being a happy family just ended up being a hot bed. I'm just saying. All right, it says, this situation is fraught with deception. Like I said, somebody is keeping secrets. 
um, doing the most behind the scenes, still feeling somebody else here very passionately. Although they know that this person is not good for them, they come with a lot of bullshit. They're still wanting this person, but knowing damn well this is not the person for them. And they have no intentions on sticking with this person either. They just want sex. Honor the vessel that is your body. You are being asked to take better care of your body, mind, and soul. Like I said, do that shadow work. Uh, figure out why you're letting these entities into your, your life. And uh, also, if you're intimate with these people, you're literally inviting that, uh, whatever is going on with them, you're inviting that into your body, <laughs> your soul. You're exchanging energy with these people, especially sexually, so you have soul ties with this person. You need to figure that out, okay, and take better care of yourself. All right, we are the company we keep. Are the people in your space healthy for you? I think not. <laughs> wow. I think not. I'm just saying. So, like I said, these people, it's more than one. You need to release, okay? In this scenario, you are the teacher. Try a different approach. Okay, so there are some things that you need to move away from. Also, um, whew, in this situation here too, sweetheart, you might have been somebody else's karma, you know, teaching them lessons that they need to learn. I'm just saying. I just want one of these. I know this is long, but Gemini, you're reading this kind of crazy. You have drum dream and journey okay so the thing is is that you need to move forward in your life you know some people can't go with you and yeah move towards what makes you happy all right you have arrows surround yourself with protective energy yes please do because this is all over you pray meditate um whatever it is that you have to do clear your energy stop messing with this person like literally because you're inviting that into your life. This is going to bring you drama, chaos. This seems like a cool thing. Yeah, the sex is bomb or whatever, but there's some stuff going on here. There's some explosive sex. It's really good. But look at this valley here. You've got all this lava turbulence and all this other stuff going on. It's very dangerous as far as I'm concerned. And like I said, I still didn't look up the spirit. Um meaning of iguana but i will do that for you at a later date and probably mention it in another video all right and then you have stag trust and thrive okay trust that the divine is on your side trust that what you're seeing your intuition is telling you is true and uh yeah trust that you need to move on from this situation you're making a a, a very head over heart logical decision the thing is is that some of you guys are stuck making a decision to end this okay you need to get out of this situation here move on because you know it's not good for you i'm just saying you already have your nine of cups so you need to move forward and leave all of this behind and start new um, yeah, not only with new people, but renew mind, renewed uh, a sense of self, and uh, yeah, all of that. Figure it out. Do the shadow work and figure out why you're bringing this into your life, okay? All right, darling. Talk to you later. Bye.